Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. This video is another subscriber's choice video. I'm going to be restoring and customising this little Ertl 1957 Ford Thunderbird. So I posted in my community tab asking what colour people would like to see the car. There are a lot of votes as usual, but overwhelmingly the most voted for colour scheme was the red with a white roof. So it's going to be a pretty classic looking Thunderbird. These were produced by Ertl from around 1980. I think they made quite a few Thunderbirds of different types. This particular one was made in Hong Kong. So taking a car off the turntable for a closer look, it's actually in not too bad a condition, mainly just a scuffed and chipped paint job. It's another really cool casting, I really like these old Ertles. Got lots of nice details, badges, it's got a metal base, even the wheels are in quite good condition although I'm going to swap them out anyway. The bonnet opens a little bit and there's a type of motor in there but you can't really see it. I don't know if it's meant to open more than that. I begin by drilling out the two rivets and taking the car apart. Now I can move on and remove the paint from the car. I just use some poly stripper. And here it is with the paint removed. Now I can give it a clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool, removing any remaining scraps of paint and the oxidation from the casting. Now that it's cleaned up, I can move on and give it a coat of primer. I then painted it red. I used a pure red with just a drop of black to darken it a tiny bit. Now it was time to mask off the roof. I wouldn't be lying if I said this took me more than a couple of goes to figure out how to do it. As you can see, the rear fin comes up very closely to the back pillars on the roof and I just couldn't get any tape to stick in there so it took me a while to figure out how to do it and eventually I used a mixture of tape and liquid mask Here I realise there's no way I'm going to be able to put this mask on accurately enough on camera so I do it off camera. And here is the finished result. Does it work out? Well you'll have to wait till the end of the video to find out. Now I can move on to the base. It's in pretty good condition really, it's just got a lot of oxidation on it. I begin by popping out the wheels from under the plastic suspension, then I can tidy it up with the wire brush on my rotary tool.
It's then painted with gunmetal and I finish it with some silver weathering powders. This was all fixed with a satin varnish. The interior here is in great condition. Doesn't actually have a steering wheel, so I'm going to add one to it. Now I've started using the Starbond glue. It is really good quality. Tiniest drop and that steering wheel is on there like it is part of the casting. They do a really awesome wide range of glue and they also have an accelerator which is really handy so if you want to buy some there's a link in the description below i masked off the motor area and gave the interior a coat of primer i then painted it white then i detailed the motor and the front of the interior i also added a white stripe along the dash with some white decal paper i think that looks pretty tidy now now i'm no mechanic but I don't know what kind of motor this is. Here are the original wheels. They're not in the worst condition in the world. They're not really the worst wheels, but I'm still gonna swap them out for some of these green light Ford spoked kind of old school ones. Here we can see the awesome quality control of green light. And I picked up a completely wonky tire. Unfortunately, I bought a few packets of these and the white wall ones just seem to be like this. They aren't all bad, so here is one of the straight looking ones. They all look like that and it'd actually be great. The interior basically had nothing wrong with it. I just gave it a wash with some isopropyl alcohol and that was that. So here we are, all of our parts refurbished and repainted and ready to go back together. Before we take a look at our finished customised Ertl 1957 Thunderbird, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A play-worn old toy. Not in the worst condition, but not in the best. And Ertl certainly never made the most of all of those great details on the casting. And here it is, as requested by the subscribers, our finished Ford Thunderbird. It's now repainted in the classic red and white two-tone it's got nice painted chrome bumpers. It's got some new wheels. I think it's looking a lot better. I'll now quickly take a moment to welcome all my new subscribers and thanks everyone for the support for the channel. A big shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. A special shout out to my newest supporter, Alvarez's Diecast Customs. He has his own diecast channel where he does some really great customs. I recommend checking it out. I also recommend checking out the Instagram of my other patron, Movie Car Miniatures. He does some really great stuff. Movie and TV based dioramas. His MASH one is really neat.
Thanks heaps for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.